Hello, I'm currently in Alabama, heading I-20 East on the Womo tour. Um, and uh, the Womo is already in stores and, well, online, and uh, uh, people are getting it. And the question is, where is the instruction video? Uh, the instruction video is supposed to come out back in July, but um, I did contract a uh, um, video production company to make it a professional video. But for the, whatever reason, it's not ready. So I figured um, I will make this video and explain everything. Um, and then, you know, when uh, production video is ready, it will come out later. So what is Womo? Womo is a voiceover mobile recording studio. This is a unique product because it provides the great acoustic environment around the person and the microphone. So there are vocal booths out there that only surround the microphone. Um, there are something that just give a little shield. Uh, this gives you 100% coverage just like a recording studio. It comes in the bag like this. Uh, actually, this is the booth that I'm traveling with. So you would normally get this in a box, the blue part in a box and the hood that's currently inside the uh, booth uh, you will get separately uh, it's going to be attached but it fits inside so this way now the booth has two compartments one is a table compartment on the side where there is no logo and the other one it's much softer is the compartment for the booth itself so this so now i'm going to start with the uh, table compartment open up the table compartment what you see here this is a table this is a support table it's a, a steel table um, and it has a bracket over here this bracket is for mounting the booth on the microphone stand now also what you might not see but there is a pouch there is a pouch right there at the base of the table there is accessory pouch and it's uh, velcro to the base of the table so it, it can stay out of the view and uh, the reason we redesigned that uh, because some people said you know when they open uh, the carry on vocal booth which was a uh, previous version they saw all these um, you know accessories and it was kind of messy and i i think they did have a good point so we moved all that here so now you can take it out if you want or you can just leave it there uh, it's up to you I, I will just leave it there you know now open up the zipper and these are the accessories all tucked in there neatly now the front portion is for the booth itself. That's for the booth itself. Uh, now, right now, like I said, this is the version that uh, um, the item that I carry with me, with me around, and this is uh, what I make videos in all different environments. So the hood itself, surround sound hoods, I put inside the booth. And I actually also put uh, the microphone there and recording uh, equipment, everything I put in there when I travel. Um, so this is the light. Now, and that's how you open it, just like that. When you need to close it, just tuck things in. Yeah, uh, put the sides in first. Then I would put this all the way down at the bottom. And then I just put this back in there. A little bit diagonally because this uh, about the same, the, the rods over here are hard rods about the same length as that. So if you put it um, diagonally, it fits fine. And uh, yeah, need some adjustment. Don't use excessive force. And uh, that's Womo.
This is Vomo, voiceover, mobile, recording studio. And I will show you the accessory it comes with. Uh, first of all, as I mentioned in the previous one, this is like my working version. It's not kind of how it comes out of the box, but this is how probably you're going to use it. So you unzip the top compartment for the booth, and inside I have the hood, surround sound hood. And I have the light. Uh, again, it will come in the box. It will come with the cord and attachment. And uh, inside, you see there is a the bracket. This is the microphone stand mounting bracket. Okay. So that's that's it in this compartment. So these are the major parts of the booth. The booth itself and the hood. Okay. Now. In the back, when you open the back, there is an accessory pouch. Okay, you can take out accessory pouch, or you can just leave it there and open the booth. But okay, an accessory pouch we have the pop filter pop filter that attaches to the microphone we have uh, the cord and the charger for the light again um, I put it in there. The light would come in a box together with the uh, charger and everything else. Then we have a micro mic stand. Then we have a strap. This is a balancing strap. Counter balancing strap. A script holder. Then we have a mini boom. All right, here all the accessories that comes come with the kit. The pouch for the accessories, micro mic stand mini boom, script holder, mounting bracket, pop filter, counterbalancing strap, light with cord and the charger, surround sound hood, and the booth itself. The way the uh, pockets are designed is so you can put the filter hole in here and the filter itself over there, so you don't have to disconnect all the time. And um, I would put the script holder here first. Then I put the balancing strap in here too. This microphone mini boom goes in here. The micro mic stand goes in this pouch this is where I put the charger and uh, the cord in there as well now the filter the handle goes in here it's a little bit tight so it doesn't move anywhere and then you bend it a little bit and uh, stick it in here. Now be careful because that Velcro, if it's gonna catch on the filter, it's gonna rip the filter. So be careful about that.
Uh, be careful because that Velcro, if it's gonna catch on the filter, it's gonna rip the filter. So be careful about that. And then you just, you know, close it all up. And seal it at the bottom of the table. Okay, then this close. Now the um, now the mounting bracket goes in here. There is a little loop, elastic loop provided, so you can easier tuck it in. Then put the light in there. Close the sides first. It's better to close the sides first. Maybe not all the way, but at least three quarter of the way is better. And then fold the hood. And hood goes in there too. A little bit at an angle. Now there is still plenty of room over here, so I also put my uh, interface in there. I put the microphone in there, back a little bit more on the bottom, and the cords also go in there. And I met with uh, another traveling voice actor who had that he also puts his uh, extension cord in there and what what not. And um, it's all zipped up. Now, when, you, when you're zipping it up, try to push it together first, so you don't rip the side and don't rip the Velcro. And um, here we go. Strap, ready, ready to go. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to set up one more uh, as a tabletop application. Lay down, open the top compartment, open this up, reach inside for the strap, there is a base strap, and pull it out. Just like that. Straighten it up, and it's ready. When you open, and I'm trying to not to turn my back on anybody, but uh, that's how you would normally do it in your house. You take here, reach one hand in so you can hold the back of the booth, uh, reach the other one, uh, grab the strap, and just pull it out like that. Boom, and it opens up. And that's it. So, yeah, it's better instead of kind of trying to force it out this way, put both hands in there. Hold the back with one hand, and the other one pulls it out. Boom, and the both open up. Okay. To fold it away, simply pull the strap inside. Both collapses. Fold the sides in, and zip it up. Now I'm going to show how to use the micro mic stand. The micro mic stand looks like this. It's uh, this piece of metal, round piece of metal, and it has two nuts on it. It has also a uh, thread on both sides. So what you do, uh, take one nut off, turn the booth with the flat side to yourself or whatever and open the table so this is going to be the hole where that is going to go now open the inside of the booth
like that so you can reach inside and you see that hole see that hole in the middle the grommet uh, you would want to take this side with the nut and put it inside and align all the layers together so the metal rod is going to come on this side like that okay a little bit and then you attach you secure it with the other nut just enough so it doesn't stick out so it's flat here and then you finish up with the nut on the inside and just tighten it up okay nice and tight that's it now you pull the base strap out I'm holding it like that but ideally this is how you pull the strap out you take it out in one hand holds the back the other hand pulls out that's it and uh, now straighten the booth up the micro mic stand is ready to receive the attachments in this video I'm going to show you how to um, open up the booth and how to position the bass strap uh, for the best performance um, I already have the micro mic stand inserted and I'm going to leave it there so we can show other accessories as well but basically when you open and I'm trying to not to turn my back on anybody but uh, that's how you would normally do it in your house you take here reach one hand in so you can hold the back of the booth uh, reach the other one uh, grab the strap and just pull it out like that boom and it opens up and that's it so yeah it's better instead of kind of trying to force it out this way put both hands in there hold the back with one hand and the other one pulls it out boom and the both open up okay now the important part is don't pull the booth all the way out you see what happens it falls no and if you put it too much out like to the edge it's kind of tipping down that way uh, you see this uh, velcro those velcro attachment that's where you want the strap to be so the triangle the triangle these two arches two metal steel arches they form a triangle with the top here and the base at the top and it should be right in the middle over here then they would naturally fall apart and stay open you know obviously the uh, material is going to pull them back a little bit but this is the position where you need to be now for the velcro once you do that and obviously if it's if you're gonna work in that for for a while then you want to do it just peel, peel the velcro off one side spread the arches as much as you can and then stick the velcro inside just like that you see now I caught those arches in that open position and uh, I, I push the velcro on this side I push the velcro on the inside in the middle and outside and I can do the same thing over here obviously open it up and close that's it you see making sure and now it's it's more reliable it's gonna stay open like that and uh, that's how it is that's where you put the base strap now in this video I'm gonna demonstrate the the light this is a very nice light it's LED light so it doesn't make any noise um, it has a little Sun icon over here so if you touch it it will light up uh, you might have to wait a little bit a second because it's LEDs usually there is some delay uh, so don't try to kind of punch it in and out it's gonna do this look like it's broken no just touch it once and it opens up I mean it lights up and it's gonna stay lit like that can probably just put it here like that and it will stay but chances are if you move around you know you can knock it off 
um, I would probably suggest the best way is to clip it clip it right here to the corner of the material and then you can bend it out and it stays put in there um, I found this is the best way it's out of the way and it's uh, you know it's not bothering anybody nothing's gonna happen to it okay so that's the light now the other thing uh, on the back of the light if you see there is a switch on and off if you turn it off uh, just on the road you don't want the battery to discharge if you turn it off over here that switch in the off position then you know you touch the bottom nothing happens you turn it to the on position and it comes on okay so you're gonna turn it off um, it comes with the charger and it comes with a, a USB cord micro USB on one side the regular USB on the other side so if you want to plug it in the computer you can just plug it in the computer or you can use this and plug it into the wall and uh, plug it in here like that and plug it into the wall or just take it like that and plug it into the computer um, or if you charge it before it holds the charge for a long time and it's flexible and it's very nice it's very nice it's very pleasant light very nice light LED light from vocal boost to go the next accessory I want to show you is the mini boom mini boom it's also our design um, it has this nut that moves around like that and you can actually unscrew it and it has um, this part so the idea for that is to provide some stability so it doesn't bounce around there is a little bit of thread at the top and uh, when you completely uh, screw the mini boom in like that there is still enough thread to put the uh, microphone mount here or maybe the script holder or whatever it is now why would you need the mini boom well first of all it provides you now two points of connection so you can make um, one microphone maybe even another microphone I don't know uh, or you can attach the microphone or you can attach over here the script holder uh, and this will allow you to kind of make more room if you put the microphone in the center position it's going to be all in one spot and you know it's comfortable uh, for the long microphones like Sennheiser 416 um, this would really be handy because you can move it down that way and you see we have now that much space you do want your uh, recording the microphone part to be kind of in the middle not too close here not too close there but kind of in the middle and uh, this mini boom that ability to rotate and move it you know in any way any direction that you want um, it gives you that flexibility you know you can always uh, find the sweet spot that your voice and the microphone works best in the booth um, also sometimes you might want to have your microphone closer you might want to your microphone a little bit further out uh, you can do that too and I'll, I'll show you with the microphone that we have so we use this microphone and this vocal booth to go shotgun microphone and uh, yeah as I say if you want to use the microphone on this to move it around that's what I'm going to show you right now just uh, put the uh, microphone mount here and you can attach it any way you want uh, along this line okay and the microphone would go here and then that's how you can move it you can move it deeper in you can move it out here or you can put on the other side if you want to do it from the left side you can bring it out like that you can bring it closer so you can move it along this line you can move it gives you lots of lots of option to find 
your sweet spot you find just the right sound right the right amount of absorption and uh, and this is a unique feature so now if you put the microphone there uh, this space is open now this way you can put your copy you know you can put your phone back there if you far-sighted or you can attach the script holder like that and you can put your phone in here or tablet whatever it is you use or like I said you can put the microphone here in the middle script holder. Script holder is very simple but a very convenient device uh, because you can mount it on the microphone stand or if you already have something mounted on the stand itself uh, you can uh, mount it uh, on the mini boom on the side. Let's say if you have your microphone here then the mini boom can go here And you can put your phone or tablet it's gonna fit for the tablet too and also you can push it out of the way so let's say you want to read it that that far it's fine that far it's fine you want to read it closer let's say you near sighted or something uh, you can bring it closer to yourself you know still providing room for the microphone that's script holder pop filter. Another accessory that we include is a pop filter. Um, although some people say, especially uh, people who are in the business already, they say that they don't need the pop filter, they already have one. So we might not include it in the future, but right now we do include that. And um, the pop filter serves basically two purposes. It helps to catch uh, that pop sound, yeah, pff, pff. and also it captures that um, spray you know when when you talk there is some spray of saliva comes out and it gets on the diaphragm of the uh, microphone over time it gets corroded so it's not a good thing so pop filter helps um, your recording and helps your microphone so it's a good thing to have now there are a couple of ways that you can attach the pop filter maybe more than a couple you can come up with anything you can attach it over here but um, I thought this would be one way where you can simply hang it over here and just tighten the screw up so it doesn't wobble too much you can adjust so it stays right there like that or or you can attach it to the base over here it's not gonna be exactly attached to the base uh, but it will work and uh, yeah we need to make that a little bit longer to accommodate for the microphone stage so you can just put it like there put like that it's gonna have to go over the nut it's not just the shaft is a little bit too short um, so something for us to work in the future but right now it stays and then you know you adjust it the way it works for you there you go that's the pop filter the cables once you set up your uh, booth and everything else how do you run the cables well there is a in each corner there in the corner there in the back corner there is a, a space open that's not stitched together and that's where you uh, feed the cables 
just feed it through here and you can connect to the microphone and that's it that's how you connect the tables now surround sound hood yeah once you have the all set up right the last thing you would do you would want to put the hood on now the hood is shaped like this okay it's kind of shaped like the booth itself like a little canopy and it has this uh, rigid rods over here that would support so the hood the blanket itself is not hanging over your head but it's supported it is supported by the rods you see it creates that shape now at the end we have the D-rings and those D-rings would be connected to the hooks that located right there okay so the hooks and that's how you do you uh, just lay the hood over like that and then connect that hook to the D-ring boom one is ready and the same on the other side so this is a surround sound hood the surround sound hood hangs on top of the uh, booth and um, it's hooked up support and arches and it provides the top the back and both sides coverage acoustic treatment um, so it protects uh, from reverberation from all sides from all sides now you can open it up like this and just lay it like this like that and then get in set up your equipment and just cover yourself now you can record now we're recording inside the studio and warm up now you can simply throw the hood like this on top and um, or if you wish you can kind of fold it backwards like that yeah fold it like that so you see now it looks much neater you know all this nice and neat and you can work like that and it will um, give you better absorption and uh, sound noise protection from both sides although uh, you just need to see what works what doesn't because the denser you have the layers around you the more you're gonna feel the boominess of the booth because uh, one layer is usually perfect so try to figure out the good environment and one layer uh, takes care of the reflection and that's fine you know more than one layer it's gonna get more dense and it's gonna get some boominess in it but um, yeah so that's the hood open up again that's it it falls very easily basically it falls by itself like that oh, and it's all folded and it's done that was the surround sound hood so now I'm going to show you how to mount the uh, uh, Vomo on the microphone stand um, inside inside if you reach inside there is a bracket and this is the microphone stand mounting bracket so basically this part goes into the table and then with everything else you just slide it on and after that you just tighten up the node the knob and this supports the whole weight of the booth and everything else on this little knob so 
open up the table compartment all the way up to expose the bracket and slide the mounting bracket into the table bracket like that now you want the handle to be facing you then all the holes will align then support that just like that you see you grab it together and flip it open like this Hop, not open and flip it in this position and then just align it and put it on now you would need to help yourself with one hand to make sure the fabric aligns all together and um, it all does and goes just through now you probably want to have about four inches of that um, microphone stand shaft up inside so it will help to position your microphone right in the center of the booth you want to be uh, in the center and um, that's it you see now it holds nice and neat you make and that's it now open up the sides completely if they were a little bit closed make sure there is nothing here obstacles and then uh, reach one hand inside and hold the back of the blanket so it doesn't pull out and then take another hand and grab by the strap pull out the bus opens just like that this way the microphone mount goes this way all the mini boom and everything else goes and uh, that's it that's how you mount it on microphone stand Before you attach the surround sound hood, um, you need to use the strap, the balancing strap. And this is a strap that we used uh, uh, show before in accessories. Uh, it's about eight foot long, which should be enough. And what you do, you hook it up. You hook it up over here. You see there is a D-ring sticking out. And take one right there. Now the strap is adjustable length, so let's say uh, if you need it position shorter, the microphone is shorter, you can uh, adjust that. If you need it higher, then basically maximum length is what I use. And then this and goes under the leg like that and hook up to the other end like this, boom. Now this provides the counterbalance for tipping over that way you see that's what it is now once the uh, booth itself secured on the microphone stand and you have the balancing strap uh, all attached uh, it's time to put the hood on the hood has rigid rods over here and D-rings this part with the rod goes like this on top Hop, just lay it down like that now after that it's okay it's a little bit over that's fine don't try to match it right away because if you're going to try to match it uh, you will be pushing it over and it's just and then you slide it out, hook it up, one, the same, the other side, open up here, you see the hook is hidden in the corner, and hook it up, two, and that's it. Now, this is ready. So all you need to do is just to get in, and to get in you basically just dive down like this, hop. This is it. So this is Vomo. The booth itself and surround sound hood that provides 360 degrees all around global protection from the echo and reverberations and uh, 
you will get great recording. It's not going to be boomy. It's not going to be boxy in there uh, because this is not as dense. So the sound will not bounce. It's not going to be trapped there. The sound was actually partially escaped, escaped from there, but it's not going to come back because once the sound goes out, it loses the energy and whatever bounces back goes through that, it loses energy as well. So for the reflection, you see you have to, the sound has to come out and come back through this material and that material reduces energy twice on the way in and out. So eventually there is practically no reflections goes on there in there. Uh, if you put something dense over here, then it would create that boomy feeling. This is why originally we did try to do it soundproof, but really it doesn't, it didn't make sense. It didn't make sense because first of all, you have part of it open. So you can't make something soundproof if you don't um, uh, have it airtight. Uh, and on the other hand, on the other hand, it didn't sound good. It sounds very boomy. It sounds like you're in the barrel or something. With this design, it sounds great. It really does. What I want to show is something else, uh, because this design, this setup with all surround sound, it's good for the. Uh, voice actors because when you do the voice acting when you do voiceover You want only your voice only the direct sound goes into the microphone no reflection no noise nothing at all but uh, For singers or maybe for reporters But for singers or maybe for reporters um, they might have a different goal in mind. For example, uh, they do want some of the um, live sound get in, but they don't want it to be overwhelmed. So this kind of open setup is good for these uh, um, actors, uh, for the reporters, because you know there is some noise because they expect to be in a crowded area and they want to catch a uh, kind of uh, you know, get that feeling of being in the field. Um, for the singers, this also can be beneficial because some uh, reflected sound, some live in the room might be good for, for the song, for the sound that they're trying to create. With that in mind, actors, artists who want more of the live room sound in their recording, they can actually push this back like that and fold out and you see now it's only partially closed and it's there's more live room in there if you want to close it more then you just close it if you want to maybe only open like one side or something you just open one side or you can close both of them like this so this booth provides a lot of flexibility uh, with the mini boom that allows the positioning of the uh, microphone deep or out a little bit you can find your sweet spot with a flexible cover that can open more or less or completely covered with the wall with the surround sound hood you can control the room uh, balance the the room tone that uh, gets into your recording if you want no room tone whatsoever then you need to use close it up close the surround sound hood and you're gonna have completely dead space if you do want some uh, uh, room noise or some ambient noise coming in or just some reflections to make it feel live uh, then you open it up a little bit so uh, you do what you want with that you do what your creative um, uh, vibe uh, kind of tells you to do and uh, this was a complete presentation of Momo. I'm going to make a, a little disclosure for you, tell you a little secret. Um, because I was doing it uh, in all different environments and the, uh, you have to tighten up the knob on the microphone stand really, really uh, tight. And you know, every time tightening it up and then losing it up. So what I did, I drilled a hole over there, a little hole, 
and I got this little I don't know what it's called some hook with a screw I just put it in I just put it in like that so it's going all the way through like that like this and this way you just you know you don't really have to tighten it too much anymore <laughs> it just holds on its own um, uh, you know a little tightening is good but you don't have to really uh, do it very very tight that's it it supports the boost and especially for the tall one now it supports the weight so yeah that's a little that's a little trick so you just take it out pull it in and so I don't have to lose the screw I made another hole over here where I put it in when the uh, microphone stand is closed and it's fine so if I need to attach it and set it up high I take it from here and put it over here and that's it that's the trick <laughs>